Open 24-7, the Texas Tavern is a Roanoke institution. You leave your status outside, you come in, we treat you like a millionaire. So. Matt Bullington's great-grandfather opened the No Frills restaurant in 1930 during the height of the Great Depression. In those days, fast food was a novelty. And if you look at the original White Castles, it's just a st stainless steel counter. Inside are the white walls. Maybe you had little castle turrets. Well, my great-grandfather picked a chili recipe up in San Antonio. Well, what's the most famous old building in downtown San Antonio? It's oh, got yeah. a little arch. It's the Alamo. Right. So that's why he yeah. did that like that, is like a little homage to Texas Tavern, the Alamo. The cash-only establishment has 10 red and white stools. It jokes that it seats a 1,000 people, but only 10 at a time. White collar, blue collar, no collar, saints, sinners, preachers, prostitutes, everyone in between. It's a temple of democracy. You know, you may have a judge sitting next to a guy that just got out of jail, sitting next to a banker, sitting next to a little old lady, a couple of kids, and a hell's angel. Everyone. It all walks of life. They're all kind of in here rubbing elbows. That was more or less my experience when I stopped in late Saturday night. My girlfriend and I ordered a hamburger hot dog, bowl of chili, two sodas, and a cheesy Western. The total was like $20 with the tip. I often tell people, you know, with new employees, say, listen, you're like a bartender without the alcohol. And we don't serve alcohol. <laughs> we got plenty of people maybe have been drinking late at night where our job is to sober them up. But you want to have an affability. You want to talk to them, joke with them. Because as people come here for the food, they come here for the ambiance, kind of like, man, the place hasn't changed. But they also like the banter back and forth where you know, employees are kidding around, you know, with the customers. That's a big element of it. That's really important. Aside from the cash register, security camera system, soda machine, and the people behind the counter, not much has changed since the Texas Tavern first opened 92 years ago. He got a lot of his, hey, Chris, he got a lot of Bullington his. confessed. That's by design. I like to call us a, um, a, a cultural mooring. Everything changes so fast. Everything's homogenated, cookie cutter. People crave places that are authentic, that are unique. It's worked for us for 92 years.